Hello, class. Good evening, present. Good evening, how are you? Pretty good, and you? Well, not bad, not bad at all. Um, yeah, good to see you guys. How was your day today? Fine. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Um, hi, hey, uh, Heidi, how are you? Fine, teacher. How are you? Not bad, not bad at all. And uh, Natalia, how are you? Fine, uh, a little tired, but I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Did you have a tough day at work today? Sorry, teacher. I can't. Did you have a tough uh, day I didn't today? hear you. I asked if you had a tough day at work today. I didn't hear you, teacher. Can you hear me right now? Yes, right now. Okay. I was asking if you had a tough day yes. at work today. I, th I think she might be having internet connection problems. Okay. All right. Um, Hello. Josue, how are you? Hey, but I report. Fine, teacher. Good, good, excellent. Sorry, Natalia, are you? Oh yeah, she... can you hear me well? Because I, I don't know, are you having internet connection problems? No, I have, I, yeah, the, since yesterday I had problems and I report today to the company, but uh, it didn't work the, the solution that they gave me. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, have you tried mm -hmm. reconnecting yeah. your, or better said, restarting the um, uh, the modem? Yeah, the modem. I unplug the modem and then connecting again and reset, but it doesn't work very well because it's very slow. Right now it's very slow. So I can hear you uh, with the voice cut. Oh, okay, okay, all right, I see. All right, well, the important thing is that you're connected, right? And hopefully, if you have any problems, um, you know, just, uh, you know, try to, to reconnect and see if maybe that works, okay? All right, well, guys, welcome. You, welcome everybody to today's class. Good to see everybody. Um, how was your day today? Did you have a good day? Yeah? I'm hoping you did. Okay. All right, guys. Um, well, I'm going to start by taking attendance. Ooh, um, on time. <laughs> huh? On time. Good, good evening. Good evening. I'm just connecting in the attendance is going to start. Awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, um, you're 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 lucky. <laughs> okay, um, and of course you are. You obviously are the one who who starts our. Uh, yes, I'm worried for that. When when every time when I'm late, I'm I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because um, you know you you know that you're gonna miss your turn. <laughs> exactly. Okay, no, but I'm here. But don't worry about it. We're we, <laughs> You were, you're right <laughs> on time. Okay. All right. Thank so you, let's start uh, with, uh, well, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Javi. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Javi. Uh, do we have Andres? Present teacher. Great. Uh, and Dennis? Dennis? No, Dennis Orlando, no, right? Okay. Uh, Edgar, Edgar Menjibar. Edgar Menjibar. No. 
Okay. Uh, Eddie Giorleni. I guess not. Uh, Eddie Giorleni, no, right? What about Irvin? Is Irvin here? Irvin? Hmm. Okay, I saw him connected a little bit ago, but I guess something happened. Okay, not here then. Uh, what about Fabiola? Fabiola? No, right? No, no Fabiola. Okay. Ha uh, Heidi? Present teacher. Okay, great. And Irene? Present teacher. Excellent. Ivan? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Ivan. Thanks, teacher. Josue? Present teacher. All right. And Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, welcome. And what about uh, Jury? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Jury. Thank you. It is Luis here? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Luis. Is Manuel Alejandro here? Manuel Alejandro? No, right? Natalia? Natalia? Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, and uh, Wendy? Present teacher. All right. Uh, what about uh, Warner? Warner? No, okay. And uh, Yvonne? Present. All right, welcome. Me. Thank and, you. Uh, Edgar Enriquez? Edgar Enriquez? <coughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ellie? Elizabeth? No? Okay. Uh, Jose Montes? Jose Montes? No. Okay. Jose Ayala? Present, teacher. And good evening. Good evening. Okay. All right. Let me repeat the names of the people that I have not heard. Um, so we have uh, Dennis Orlando and um, Dennis Orlando. I have uh, Edgar Menjivar. Yes. Okay. Uh, Edith Orleni. Edith Orleni. All right, okay. And uh, we have uh, Irvin. Irvin, no? Okay, uh, Fabiola, guess not. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Warner. Warner. <clears throat> okay, uh, what about um, Edgar Enriquez? Eh, Eli? And Jose Antonio? Those are the people that I, that I have that um, I didn't hear. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, okay, well, welcome to today's class. Um, I have a question for everybody. Um, well, actually, I have a question that I want you to answer. Um, with this. Same question from yesterday. Hi. Hi. Hello. Teacher, sorry, I have problem with with the Facebook. 
with the, with the internet. Oh, okay. <laughs> but sorry, okay. sorry. All right. Sorry, teacher. Okay. That's okay. okay. I was going to tell you, do you, you don't need to worry about Facebook. We're not going to be using it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but remember, he's the one using it weekly uh, oh, for, the, for the ads and his company. Hmm. He used it. To, for the advertising. Oh yeah, no, no, company. but uh, but what I'm saying is that we don't <laughs> use it here exactly. But this, I am present, okay? Oh, okay. All right. There are still two people that have not voted. Teacher, yo le puse not sure. Creo que sí. Porque eh, ahora hablé con el de recursos humanos. Ah. You talk with Daniel today. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, I, I brought to the net today, but he referred to Jonathan sí. from English Corporativo. Y no contesta Jonathan, así yeah. que hablé con otro, con Oscar. Yeah, sí. Ya tienen todos nuestros documentos de los de Cosecho okay. y solo les hace falta la planilla de junio. Me dijeron, yo le dije que era favor de mandarle correo a Daniel, porque dice Daniel que inmediatamente ellos le mandan correo, lo contesta, así que esperaría yo que para todos nosotros ya. Por eso puse not sure, pero ya estamos en eso, teacher. Yes, I select not sure too. <laughs> uh -huh. But I will ask and I will uh, tell that information, teacher. Mm -hmm. But I guess that you have all document the Libra on time. Yes, teacher. I think um, son empresas tienen problemas con la planilla. Entonces, porque en mi caso es igual. Ya mandé lo demás, pero me falta la planilla. Va, entonces usted, uh, Javi, eh, votó que no. Que no, porque me están pidiendo las planillas y no están todavía. Y pues, ni modo. Ah, o sea que todavía no, no, las, han, no las tienen las empresas. Eso es lo que pasa. Ajá, es que no sé qué pasa con este mes pasado. Que como hay algo, no sé qué sucede. Entonces me dijeron que no iba a estar hasta esta semana. Entonces, ah. a mí sinceramente me da pena presionar a mi jefe, es como, ya lo tienen listo, vea, pero... Ah, no, pero la recordada. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero o sea, ya mi empresa ya me dijo, sí, cuando la tengamos la vamos a mandar, uh -huh. pero ah, pues. este, ahí inglés corporativo está insiste, 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 entonces hasta que ya, hasta que mis autoridades en el colegio la tengan, se va a enviar. Y yo por eso puse que no, porque pues no, no está todo, no está completo. Okay. Entonces, um, me uh, puedo asumir entonces que Ana Claudia uh -huh. y José Alfredo pusieron not sure. Ajá. Sí, Which eso pusieron. José Alfredo. Which José Alfredo. Eh, el, bueno, el, el único que nos ha dado. <risa> ah, <risa> y porque el. Ajá. Eh, Los otros dos andan desaparecidos. <risa> Ajá, cabal. Entonces, eh, sí, puedo asumir entonces que ustedes fueron los que pusieron que no sure. Sí. Yeah. sí, pero por eso, porque falta solo la planilla esa. Ok, entonces, eh, vale, pa, solo para, para, para asegurarme que entiendo. ¿Ustedes ah, no están seguros de que, de que sí se ha mandado? ¿Cómo no? Todos los papeles nuestros ya los mandaron. Lo ah, único que hace falta es, eso me dijo Oscar de inglés corporativo, la planilla de junio. Entonces ahora mandaron, porque eso que dice Javid me dijo Oscar, que hay varias empresas que no tienen todavía las planillas de junio del seguro. Uh -huh, uh -huh, entiendo. Entonces inmediatamente las tengan, las envíen. Entonces también inglés corporativo nos está apoyando con mandarles el correo a ellos. De, pero de que sí, nos quieren a nosotros aquí, sí. <ríe> Somos varios. Ok, bueno, ok. Entonces esperemos a ver qué Sí, tal. solo falta que lo complete. Lo otro ya lo mandaron. De lo de nosotros ya lo mandaron. Eso sí okay. me confirmó Daniel. Ok, vale. Ok, entonces así quedamos. Vale. <laughs> eh, ok, perfect. Ok, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to end this poll. Thank you for sharing. Y gracias a todos por estar bien pendiente de eso, ¿verdad? Uh, pues eh, incluso pues también Ana Claudia y, y José, pues uh, también que, que también han estado pendiente. Y Javi, ¿verdad? Entonces les agradezco a todos por eh, estar muy pendiente de eso y colaborarnos en ese sentido. Porque pues también, o sea, 
pues es un, un trabajo en equipo, ¿verdad? Pero, o sea, todos um, necesitamos eh, ayudarnos para que pues logremos el, el objetivo, ¿verdad? Porque también lo que les, les comento, yo estaba haciendo ahí eh, cálculos, ¿verdad? Y entonces estoy viendo de que, cabal, o sea, la, la idea, como les digo, o sea, es que no, nosotros podamos eh, darle... <risa> Eh, le podamos um, dar este servicio de tal forma sí, que, eh, de tal forma que, que ustedes puedan um, Me puso tener... perdón teacher eh, yo hablé con recursos humanos perdón que le interrumpa sí, sí. y sí me dijeron que ya habían mandado los datos porque yo puse en la encuesta que que, que no había no estaba seguro Ajá. Pero me dice que habían mandado los datos del mes pasado, lo habían mandado como a 25 o algo así. Ah, ya mandaron los documentos. Mm -hmm. ¿no? Sí, sí. Ajá. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yo había puesto que no, no estaba seguro también. Ah, usted no, había puesto que no. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ok. Sí, Me pero gusta. sí, ya están ahí. Ok, vaya. Y Javi, usted había puesto que no también. Yo puse que no porque como no están completos. Ay, qué raro. Es que solo o sea, me parece que... un no. Pero bueno, está bien, no hay problema. Okay, no hay problema. Okay. Lo importante es de que, de que ustedes... Eh, bueno, ok, excelente. Entonces, eh, los suyos, Jerry, ya estamos completos ahí con, con eso, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, sí, ya están. Ok. Ah, eh, ahí el, a Luis, Luis Bonilla nos está ayud ayudando, nos está apoyando. Si ustedes pueden ver en el chat... Um, nos está poniendo él nos dice de que pueden um, llamarle verdad el día de eh, eh, el día de mañana verdad uh, para, para ver eso de los documentos ahí pone su, su número de teléfono para que les llamen a aquellos de que no están seguros que ha pasado verdad por si lo ha entregado o si la planilla ya está verdad o qué sé yo ¿verdad? lo que sea que necesitan ok ok entonces ahí tomen nota ahí del número para, para que no se les borre, porque de repente se desconectan, de, el Zoom nos lo saca, ¿verdad? O, o se fue la luz y el, y el número ya no aparece en el chat. Así que eh, ahí tomen nota. Gracias, eh, Luis. Bueno, ok, entonces estamos claro con eso. Eh, cualquier cosita, ahí estamos a la orden para poder apoyarles con eso. Um, y cualquier otra cosita que necesiten. Y como les estaba diciendo, la idea es de que nosotros podamos apoyarles con este servicio para que ustedes puedan tener su, su diplomado, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero, um, y lo pueden sacar en el menor tiempo posible, ¿verdad? Entonces, no queremos estar alargando tanto ese proceso. Yo estaba haciendo el cálculo y que si todos pusiéramos los, um, los documentos a tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, de aquí hasta finalizar el, el año. Entonces, podemos lograr todavía tener, um, si, no, si mal no me equivoco, los tres módulos todavía, o sea, eh, tres módulos más, digamos, ¿verdad? Pero si no, si no, no nos, um, si no estamos eh, presos con eso, puede ser que ya el último módulo del ya no logremos hacerlo porque el, el detalle es de que Insafor pide que se, um, que se termine a cierta fecha de diciembre. Solamente podemos llegar a cierta fecha. Después de eso ya no. Entonces, si el curso, si al darlo se sobrepasa de esa fecha, ya no se puede dar ese curso. Entonces, para que ustedes no terminen, digamos, eh, por así que decirle, al, eh, en noviembre y después de ahí ya no tener nada y pasar noviembre, diciembre y hasta saber cuándo en enero empezamos y todo este tiempo sin practicar. Entonces, y perdiendo tiempo, ¿verdad? También, entonces, um, es mejor que pues podamos siempre estar al día con el uso de los documentos para que sí podamos meter cuanto se pueda, ¿verdad? Ok, no sé si me explico, si está claro lo que, a lo que me refiero. Sí. Yes, sí, sure. Ok, va. Perfect. Ok, guys, in that case, what we're going to do is we are going to start with our PowerPoint presentation. And um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint.
Can you see my PowerPoint? No, yet. Not yet? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Oh, okay, great. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, there we go. So this is the intermediate of module one, unit three, monitoring personnel. The date is Tuesday, August 10th, 2021. And the day is the 20th. Um, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, we have the pair discussion. Okay, so the idea with this is we're going to be working in pairs, okay? And we're going to be discussing these questions. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? How did you handle the situation? So, in other words, eh, like uh, imagine they're, you know, basically they're asking you, have you ever um, gotten a notification, um, you know, not with a lot of time in between, saying that one of your coworkers eh, that you need to work with um, eh, will not be able to um, arrive. And so how, the question is, how did you handle the situation? Did you get a substitute? And did you assume some of the absent uh, employee, did you assume some of the absent employees' um, uh, responsibilities? So in other words, uh, you know, each employee has the responsibilities. Were you, did you have to do their job uh, because they were, not, uh, they were not there? Do we understand these questions? Yes, teacher. Yeah, any questions about the questions? No, no? they're all okay, they're all clear. Okay, all right. So like I said, we're going to be working in pairs and we're gonna be discussing these questions. So um, let's create the groups. Um, just give me a moment. Okay. And I'm going to give you about 10 minutes to work on this. Okay, so really discuss these questions. Ask more questions. Don't just limit to yourself to yes, no, right? Actually, you know, discuss more. And if, if maybe the answer for you is no, but maybe have you ever seen maybe uh, one of your coworkers going through a situation like that? And you know, how did they handle it, right? So if, if, if you don't have a personal experience, but maybe you've seen it um, with a close coworker um, that, you know, they've had to do something like that, okay? So here we go, let's open the rooms. Natalia, are are you having problems joining? Please let me open. Uh, let's make the questions. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice? Let me share the screen. Let me share no. the screen. Here it is. Okay, this is what we need to discuss, right? Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff mm -hmm. not going to work? Mm, to me, I had happened, but 
in a, one of the jobs I had like more than 10 years ago, my shift, uh, it was just a, a, a part-time job that I had. And my shift uh, went from 9 a.m. at noon. And my colleague uh, will be in the next shift from noon to 3 p.m. And he had some problems uh, with addic addictions, I guess, is the best way. He was drunk and stuff like that. So he didn't show up to work. So that situation happens to me like three times. So I must stay in uh, covering his shift. So those days I've been working from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I made two shifts. That is one that I remember. I don't know if you have uh, something similar, Edgar. Um, in, in my case, in, in company, uh -huh. uh, yes, yes. Uh, at the, the last minute, uh, Did you assume some of the absent employees' responsibility? Um, Andres, uh, are you having are you having problems with the connection, or is it the microphone? Um, try, because I, we're having a little bit of problems hearing you right now. So, um, check to see if maybe the, the, the setting from your microphone, maybe you can change it. And now, could you? Oh, yeah, yes. that works. Yeah, no, that's fine. Maybe the, the microphone of the camera is not working. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that happens sometimes. Okay, well, continue, continue. Okay, and the, uh, I have to, to do my job and I have to cover my, my coworker too because we work in customer service. In my case, um, I cover if I have a some hour free, I cover for some hour, but it's very difficult to um, get the responsibility to the other teacher because uh, the schedule, uh, I don't know, how do you say teacher, chocan? Chocale. Como los no, los horarios chocan, como si el oh, schedule. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, the, the schedule, um, um, mm, I wouldn't say that. You could, we have a different schedule and. Yeah. You're saying who? You're saying that your your other coworkers don't have um, don't have the same schedule as you? Yes, yes. Okay. It's, uh, all 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 each teacher has a uh, um a schedules for uh, for the class for the every grade uh, for cada grado mm -hmm. for specific uh, grade and. It's very difficult to get uh, or handle the other um, responsibilities to the other teacher mm -hmm. because we have uh, some responsibility about our classroom. And we can cover some our class, but it's, it's not all the, the morning or all the, the schedule. Um, okay, yeah, and so, Basically, our, our schedules are different. Yeah, because there's really no, there's not like a, that kind of expression. 
you know, the okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's leave that. And Andres, he already talked about his? Sure, teacher. I, I have pro I have problems with the camera, but can you listen to me? Yeah, yes. I can hear you. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, what, what are you talking about? Um, did you really mm -hmm. talk about with, with, with um, Javi, did you, because I don't know if she heard you well. Were you, were you able to hear him when he was talking to you, Javi? About yes, him? yes, but uh, slowly, no. Okay, so okay, so maybe okay. that you can try um, talking again because um, she couldn't hear you very well. Okay, the, uh, the first question in my case is yes, because sometimes my co workers are sick or need a. So, yes. Uh, but in the case that is a short term, uh, did you assume some kind of absence of the employee that the didn't work? Yes, because uh, the personnel uh, is in charge the more activities and other activities and your activities. Uh, mm -hmm. Understaffing is the problem in my company. Mm -hmm. Never happened because mm -hmm. uh, all people have much activities, specific activities, mm -hmm. and uh, and no is no is uh, normal. The person assume the absent mm -hmm. employees. When do you remember it isn't normal? You, you is can't normal. Say no is you it's it isn't normal is it isn't it isn't normal it's uh, is oh. only isn't it it isn't isn't it isn't okay teacher thanks okay. all right it okay and the finally, uh, Natalia is, did you assume some the so absent? absent uh, it depends, is the... Is, 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 is um, the teachers, no, is... Uh, um, uh, yes, sería the teacher, um, sit, sit, sería enfermo? Sick, uh -huh. Yeah, the sick. Yeah, you you substitute uh, 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 for training for children's. You know, white. <laughs> okay. Hey, good, you never good. did it. Uh, yes. Okay. No problems. Is uh, the training right now for children's the ten years. Okay. Oh, um, fifteen years. Fifteen right. years. Yeah. Okay, in, in that case, you assume the responsibility of the, the teacher that didn't come to the work. Yeah, the responsibility is is, uh, is uh, very, um, como se dice, difficult, very, very hard, no sé, very difficult. Difficult, yeah, it's very difficult. Uh, why mm -hmm. not? Uh, um, no, is a uh, teacher defensing. Uh, remember, Warner, it isn't. It isn't. Uh, <laughs> not, no, is. No, okay, so you have to say it, not. have the subject, it, and then it. is in the negative would be isn't. It isn't. Okay, you're finished? Or do you need more time? I don't know. I finished. I don't know if you want to tell more of your experience today. 
Werner. I'm sorry. Uh, if if I ask you if you want it's, to it's, it's, yes. tell more about your today's experience. Yes, is is what's it say? It's finished the my problems in my company. Oh, okay. well, the the question is uh, similar in my case. Okay. Um. All right, guys, um, great. So I'm hoping everybody had the opportunity to talk to your partner and um, you were able to share your, your experience. Am I correct? Yeah, okay. Anybody need more time? No? I think you had enough time. Okay, great. So let's move on to the next part. Oh, by the way, guys, before we continue, I have that question for you guys. Um, have you ever had to uh, take on the responsibility of one of your coworkers that was late uh, or absent at last minute? Did you have to do that? Or you've never had to cover for them? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah? So I think that's something quite common, right? There's always um, that one person that, um, you know, last minute tells, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be going to work. So um, they have to find a substitute right away, right? And um, that that means that we have to take on some responsibilities. Okay, yeah. All right, good. Let's move on. Um, All right, let's talk about regrets and remorse. So here we have two structures, we have a structure, well, two structures that we're going to be talking about. This is, I'm expressing a regret. Do we understand regret? No. no. Yes. No. Arrepentirse. Mm -hmm. Arrepentimiento o oh, re repetimiento. Remordim remordimiento. Oh, remordimientos, exactly. So that's, that's remorse, right? Okay, so arrepentimientos y remordimientos. So basically, what you're saying with regrets and remorse is you wish you could change the past. That's what you're saying, okay? You think that it would have been better if something had been different in the past, whether you did something in the past or you didn't do something in the past, you wish you could change the past. Yeah, okay. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So we're gonna be using perfect models to express regret or remorse about past actions. And I need a volunteer to help me read this part. Who can help me? Okay, teacher, me. Um, okay, go for it, Javi. Use should have plus as possible to talk about regret. For okay. example, I should have sent the report sooner. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. Thank you very much, Javi. Okay, good. So this is one way that we can talk about the past um, that we regret, okay? Obviously, we're regretting the past, not the present or the future. We're regretting something of the past. So the structure is using should have and then the past participle. OK, 
Okay. Now it's very important that you understand that it's should have and not should has. Okay. So independent what the subject is, it can be I, you, he, she, it, we, they, it's going to be should have, not should has. Got it? Yes, thank you. And then, of course, we're going to use the past participle. That is why it's very important that you guys remember and, you know, study the past participle if you guys don't remember what it is. Okay, I know past participles are sometimes a little bit difficult to remember uh, because that means that you have to go through all of the list of irregular verbs and you have to remember the past participle of each of them. But the good news is that the past participle of all regular verbs are, is the same as the simple past. That's the good news, right? So you don't have to learn uh, the regular verbs because it's exactly the same. And the other good news is that in some cases of the irregular verbs, the past participle is the same also as the irregular verb in the past, in the simple past. So um, if you guys, like I said, if you guys need to, um, if you feel that you need more, more time to study that, I would strongly suggest that you look at that. Why? Because today we're going to be looking at two structures that have to do with the past participle. So it's really important that you, you know it. Okay. So let's take a look at it. Let's see how this works out. If you notice, um, so we have, I should have sent this. I should have sent. Okay. The other one is I shouldn't have asked. Okay. So if you notice, we have should have, or in the negative, it's shouldn't have. And the past participle of send is sent. The past participle of ask is asked. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. All right, now I need somebody to help me with this part. Who can help me read? Me, teacher. Okay. Okay. Could and will have are often used with if plus have plus past participle. If I have no juice to work sick, I could have gotten a substitute. A manager couldn't have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him. <clears throat> I will have come to work if I have received the schedule on time. Thank you. Okay, so this is another way to express uh, the remorse, right, or, or regrets. And it's using if plus had plus past participle. But if you notice, there's a part missing here because um, that's just part of it. If plus had plus past participle only part of the verb of the sentence. The other part is when you add okay, so um, okay, so that's the if plus had plus past participle. And then after that we are going to add a comma. Okay, so plus the comma. So I'm going to make it smaller because this is way too big. Okay, we have the comma. And then after the comma, we're going to have the subject plus the could or would. Um, plus, oh, actually, could or would have, but I said always have, not has, 
and then past participle. Okay, so there you go. That's the structure. Okay, so if plus had plus past participle plus a comma, please don't forget that comma. Um, very important. Okay. But I think we, we've talked about this in the past that um, the comma only is only used if we start with the word if. Okay. So if there's if the word if is at the beginning, then we put a comma. But if we but it's also possible to do the opposite, right? And start with this part: subject plus good plus would have plus past participle. And in that case, there would be no, and then if plus had plus participle, in that case, there would be no comma. But just remember that if we start with the word if, we need to have a comma. So we have the examples here, right? Um, So we had, so notice if I had known, right? If I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. The manager could have fixed your schedule if you had, if you had mentioned it. if you had mentioned it to him, okay? Or I would have come, I would have come to work if I had received, if I had received the schedule on time. Notice that in the first one, sorry, in the first one, there is a comma, right? In the first one, there's a comma, and the reason there's a comma is because uh, we started with the word if. But in the other two, we have no comma, and that's because we didn't start with the word if. The word if is actually right in the middle, right? So the, that it's already connecting the two clauses, so we don't need a comma, okay? So far, so good. Does this make sense to you or yes, teacher. you're confused? Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. When you when the word you have, you need always a part uh, next to will have plus past participle or no, because in the last sentence it's not a past part participle because you say I will. I will have come, no came. What's the past participle of uh, come? Sorry. What's came is not a came. Came is a simple past. And the past. Okay. Gone. Come. Mm -hmm. So it's so the in the in the list. We have come, came, come. Mm, okay. Come, came, come. The last one, which is the past participle, is come. Okay? Okay. How do you guys feel about this? Is okay? I just want to make sure with the structure is if plus <laughs> had plus past participle plus comma plus subject, <laughs> plus could or would have, and then plus, plus participle. That is all the structure. That's the structure, exactly. Um, and it's always gonna, it's gonna be either could have or would have. Not uh -huh, could have or would have. Exactly. So um, now- Plus complement. Oh uh, yeah, the well, yeah, complement. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because here we're talking about it's an it's actually what we call a conditional clause right the conditional uh, clause of two parts two two clauses right we have the main clause and the if clause 
right? But but in the in the last sentence, for example, if we are starting the sentence with um, with the subject, so it's I. Right. So it's we switch the order or we switch the order and, and, and make like the second part goes fierce. Oh yes, yes exactly. everything goes in after the comma goes fierce and then the if because we have the if we don't use comma. Exactly. That's that's what I was explaining that you, um, with the, you only use the comma if like we room, start with the if. Start with the if. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. So if we don't start with if mm -hmm. we don't have to use it because the, the only reason why in English, okay, and this is this is not just for this structure, this is for all the sentences that have two clauses, right? Mm -hmm. And a dependent and an independent clause. The only reason why we could we put a comma in the middle mm -hmm. is because the connector is at the beginning. In this case, the connector is the word if. Mm. And because the connector if is at the beginning, it's not connecting the two ideas. So we need a word in there that was going to connect, that okay. is going to link those two sentences. Okay. And, the word, and the thing that connects it is the comma. But in this okay. case, in, in, in exercise, sorry, in sentence number two and three, the connector is in the middle if mm -hmm. it's in the middle, so it's already connecting. We don't need the comma then. Mm -hmm. Is okay. that pretty clear for everybody? How do you guys feel about that? Mm -hmm. Or are you lost? It's clear. Crystal clear or like horchata? Uh, this structure is only for regret and remorse. Um, well, this is not for remorse. No, it's, well, yes, it's, it's regrets and remorse. Okay. So, uh, you know, regrets and remorse are very similar, mm. right? I mean, so, mm -hmm. eh, si uno se arrepiente de algo, también tiene un remordimiento. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So it's they're very similar, you know. Okay. Okay. But obviously, this is obviously for the past. We can't okay. regret or more something of the present or the future. Okay. This is for the okay. Future. Because you regret something that happened at the past. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Although. Technically speaking, yes, we can regret something of the present too, but that's a different story and we're not going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So. My God, what a long sentence. <laughs> it's just, it's. it's what we're ah, doing is we're connecting two ideas. Que mm -hmm. Okay. That's basically what it, what it is, what's happening. Sorry, teacher, I don't hear you explain the last explain. Oh, oh, what was, um, Ana Claudia was saying that it's a long sentence. And mm -hmm. I said the only reason why it's long is because it's connecting two ideas, right? We have the condition and like the result, right? Or the, the condition and, 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 you know, in the main idea. That's the only reason. Okay. And on the other side, when we use the should have, mm -hmm. is uh, oh, hey. mm, just a sh the structure is a, a subject plus. A, here we just use should have. We don't use could have. Right. Okay. I'll I'll make this a little easier for you. Mm -hmm. Let's let's do these sentences in Spanish. Mm -hmm. I should have sent the report sooner. Tell me what that means in Spanish. Yo debía haber mandado los reportes. Debería haber enviado. Mm -hmm. O no debería, debería de haber preguntado. Yo debería de haber enviado los reportes más temprano. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. 
No debería haber pedido sí. a ella que no, llevara esas no, cajas. No debería no. haber preguntado, o no le, de, no le debería haber pedido que a cargar pedido. esas uh, cajas. Uh -huh. Como no debí. Oh, no debiese ver. So this, but, but it, said, uh, it says that that structure, this structure is most used, is commonly used to talk about regrets. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, it's probably, well, yeah, they're both the same, I would say. But, but if this is easier for you in your everyday speech, use this one. If this one's easier for you. But of course, I see this is used in present and the other one is in past. That nope. is the only. Nope. Nope. Both, both of them is are in past. past. Sorry, but so both of them are about the past. Oh, no, I mean that the auxiliary verb is used in present. Have? Both. Oh, yes, you're right. Ah, uh, you is, yes. Have and could have. Mm -hmm. and could have. They're both. In the, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not really that it's the present, Ana Claudia, it's not really the present. What it is, is actually the infinitive. Mm -hmm. After the rule in English is, this is a rule that is 100%, like it, it happens all the time, okay? So okay. there's no, no change in this rule. There's no exceptions to this rule. And the rule is that after model auxiliaries, mm -hmm. Always use an infinitive verb. Ah, okay. That's okay. the rule. So should is an infinitive, could is an infinitive, would is an infinitive. Mm -hmm. So that's why the word, the verb have has to be in the form of have. It cannot be in has, it cannot be had, it cannot be having. Okay. It has to be have. And it's because it's the, in the form of, of the infinitive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. But it's better. Yes, I understand it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, if for you personally, this feels a little too complicated, fine. Don't use it. You can use this one and it makes this, it's the same idea. The only thing is that with this one, um, this is like a little more complete because what you're saying is this is the situation that happened and this is what I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yes, I understand. Uh, so this one's a little more complete, but then, but you, you could choose either one, right? Now, of course, for the sake of the exercises, you have to know both forms. Exactly. Right. Okay. okay. Bye. Got it. Yeah. Me, me perdí a alguien en el camino. <laughs> Please tell me. This is important. I don't want to continue. Sure. It's not clear. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go for the other one. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot it. We we're doing that. Okay. So if I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. How would you say that in Spanish? Si hubiera sabido que estabas sí. enfermo, yo, yo pude verte sustituido. Algo así. Yo pude haber conseguido. Un ah, 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 ah. Ah, so, si yo hubiese sabido que estabas enfermo, yo hubiese podido conseguir un sustituto. Okay. All right. The other one. Yes, it's right. Uh, the manager could have asked, sorry, could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to them. El manager pudo haberte modificado tu schedule si tú le hubieras mencionado eso a él. Si se lo hubieras mencionado a él. Okay, good. El, el gerente um, pudo, haber, pudo haber arreglado el horario. El horario. Si, él hubiera, si tú hubieras, si tú le hubieras mencionado eso a él. Tú se lo hubieras mencionado. Okay. And the other one, I would have come to work if I had received the schedule on time. 
hubiera venido a trabajar si hubiera recibido mi horario a tiempo. Right. Yo hubiera venido a trabajar si yo hubiera recibido mi horario a tiempo. You know, um, I guess that the most important situation here is that we never have to regret if we don't want to use this. You heard that? Sorry, what was that again? If you don't have, if you don't want to learn this, you then you never have to regret. <laughs> okay. All right, well sure. <laughs> if that works uh, for you. It's a little joking. Right, yes. Um, well, yeah, you don't know, yeah, it's not a it well sometimes it's, they some people say it's not good to live with regrets and remorse, right? But it is what it is. Okay. So, anyways, guys, um, this is the structure, and let me just teacher. yeah teacher teacher right uh, the the where is uh, the bear in 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 past? No. Could you repeat that? Yeah. Uh, you you weren't think weren't the bear past? No. Weren't. Weren't. The, the the sentence is if if I had now you weren't sink weren't you were the bird weren't sink where is, no, is the, the bird is now that's auxiliary the the verb is work is auxiliary yeah ah okay okay it's auxiliary ah, okay okay oh, hold on the, wait, the wait, wait 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 what is your question I'm I'm not sure. Could you repeat um, the question? I guess that Edgar said that word, if word in this context is a verb. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, it is. It's a verb. Where, where, where is um, auxiliary? Aux, 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 no. No, 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 no verb. No, it's a verb. The, the verb to be. It comes from the verb to be. The verb to be. Yeah. Where oh, okay. is the verb? Sick is the verb. The past, uh, the past verb is, is sink. No. 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 Say, it was where. Sick is no, I guess I guess he needs to know where the past participle verb is. In, in this the case, known. it's known. Oh, known okay. right. It's the past participle. Yeah. So if you're looking for if you're looking to find the past participle, the past participle is the word known. And the we have if is right here, right? Had yeah. here, past yeah. participle, known. No. Yeah. Okay. okay. Over here it's if, right? It's if here. Subject mm -hmm. you had, it's right there. Yeah. Past participle mentioned. And in this one, we have if I is a subject, then we had had, and the past participle uh, is received. Okay. Okay. D does that maybe I guess uh, uh, because it got confused a little bit because uh, after the past participle, you need to have plus complement plus comma maybe, and you were sick is a complement. Yeah. Okay. Yes, exactly. I don't is that is that your question, Edgar? Yes, teacher. Why yes. why don't we continue with the subject and everything? Is that your question? Yeah, teacher. Yes. Okay. Um, teacher, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if the class wouldn't be so interesting, we wouldn't have forgotten to take the attendance. <laughs> My goodness. Excellent. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> okay. He understood very well. <laughs> yes, okay, you, yeah, you passed. <laughs> okay, very good, exactly. Yes, I, I, I'm actually taking, I, I have that in my mind. I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood this before we stopped presenting. Um, yeah, just, just to answer the question, your question quickly, um, I've got, yes, this part here, you were sick, is a complement, which um, most of the time it exists, 
but not all the time. And that's why we don't really include it as part of the structure, but it does. It, for example, over here, there's another part of a complement, right? Okay, a substitute is also a complement, right? Um, your schedule is a complement. It to him is a compliment. Um, come to uh, to work is a compliment. The schedule on time is a compliment. So okay. yes, um, many times we are going to add a compliment, but we don't include it in the structure. A structure. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Does okay. that answer your question? No, teacher. Thanks. D does that answer your question, Edgar? No. No, 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 teacher. No, let me, okay. The, did I answer your question? Did, uh, did I answer your question? No, teacher. Uh, no, sí, yes, sorry. Pardon, okay. Sorry. Okay. okay, no problem, sorry. sorry. I just wanted yeah, to yeah, make yeah, sure, yeah, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so we're gonna stop sharing because I need to take attendance. Yes, thank you very much for reminding me. And um, let me see, where is it? Just give me a moment. Okay, so Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Javid. Present teacher. Eh, Andres. Present teacher. Great. Dennis Orlando, Edgar, present teacher, Edith, Jorleni, uh, Irwin, present teacher, present teacher, all right, uh, present teacher, okay, teacher present, yes, yes, I can hear uh, you, okay, <laughs> okay, um, Fabiola, no, all right, uh, Heidi, present teacher, great, Irene, Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Josue. Teacher. Sure. Okay. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Great. Jury. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro. Okay, um, Natalia. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Warner. Warner. No. Um, Yvonne. Present. Warner was here a while ago, right? Yeah. Me acuerdo haberlo visto o no. Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday. It wasn't here. No, no, I know. Yes. Well, no, I know he was here yesterday, but today. Oh, yes, teacher. Yes? It was. Yeah, he wasn't here yesterday. So he was here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Today, I, I, today he was too, teacher. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I was just thinking, am I going crazy? I, I you know, <laughs> you know, I had seen him or not. But yeah, okay. Be careful, teacher. Be careful. I know. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I don't know. I don't, I can't trust myself any anymore these days. Ah, there he is. Okay. Mm. Warner. Yeah, he yeah, is yeah, like yeah. in two devices, one invisible and the other one is visible. <laughs> Hello, Warner. Can you hear us? No, teacher. Oh. My problem, my Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. My okay. internet. Okay, yeah, you disappeared on us and I was calling your name for the tenants. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, Yvonne? Yvonne? Mm, I, I told you present. Oh, okay, all right. A few so, minutes ago. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, um, Edgar Enriquez? This is not right. Um, Elizabeth, no, right? Jose Montes? No. And Jose Wilfredo? Present teacher. All right, okay, great. Okay, guys, um, let's continue. 
So um, now that you guys have the idea, the information I just explained, let me give you some examples, okay? Just for you guys to have more, um, more ideas uh, with these two structures, okay? So here we go. Oh, hold on. Let me change the color because I don't think you can see it. You can't see it, right? Okay, hold on. I change. Let me just change the color because otherwise you won't be able to see it. Just a second, guys. I'm almost done. Okay. All right. Okay, change the color now so that it's easier for you guys to see it. I hadn't noticed that that um, the color was not the best one. Okay, so here we go. So he should have gone to bed early instead of playing video games with his friends. Okay, so we will notice how we're using this one over here, should have gone, should have, and then past participle gone. He shouldn't have hung around with his friends every day instead of studying, okay? So here's the negative, shouldn't have, and past participle of hang is hung. Actually, um, I should put this part because that's also part of it, okay? Okay, so hung around. Um, they should have saved money by avoiding going shopping uh, too frequently. Okay, so should and then should have and then past participle of save is saved. We shouldn't have rejected the training the company offered to be given a promotion. We shouldn't have rejected the training the company offered to be given a promotion, which, sorry. Okay, so, so far, this is the first, this is the first part of the sentences is the structure over here. And now I'm gonna give you ones for this one. If I had said goodbye, sorry, yes, if I had said goodbye, we could have fixed our friendship. If I had said goodbye, we could have fixed our friendship. So over here we have the could, right? The could and have and the could have and then past participle fix is fixed. Okay. All right. Next one. If I had gone to northern Canada, I would have tried snowboard snowboarding, the sorry, snowboarding and skiing. So here we have the would plus a have plus past participle. Try, the past participle of try is try. If I had taken a taxi, I could have arrived on time. So again, we have could have, and then past participle of arrive is arrived. Finally, I wouldn't have been sick if I hadn't eaten, uh, if I hadn't eaten so much. I wouldn't have been sick if I hadn't eaten so much. So we have here the negative of would is wouldn't, and then have and past participle of be is been, okay? And actually to make this a little bit easier for you guys, I'll just highlight this part right here, which is the other part of the, no, hold on, that's a bad color. Let's change it to this one. Now, I want a better color. Let's see what color is good. No, too light. Mm. The yellow. 
the yellow one. No, but that doesn't really show up too much. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's really difficult for this color. Purple. I guess this one, right? Does that show show up better? The dark yeah. red? Let's keep it a dark red. Okay. Okay, so there you go. So just to highlight the other part, right, which is this part right here that we've talked about, is if plus the subject plus had, and all the time we use use had, and then past participle of say is said, past participle of go is gone. Oh, I forgot to highlight this one. Past participle of eat is eaten, and past participle of take is taken. Okay, so there you go. Uh, how do you guys feel about these sentences now? Do you have a better idea? And if you notice with these ones, we have a comma because we start with the word if. So we have goodbye, comma, Canada, comma, taxi, comma. But in this one, there's no comma because the word if is in the middle. Okay. How does that work for you guys? Does that make sense for everybody? or you're, you're confused, tell me. You're confused? Nothing. No? Okay. All right. So let's. it's time to check if you really did understand or not. So here are the exercises. Complete the sentence with should, could, or would have plus past participle. So we have, if the servers had received proper training, they could have answered the customer's questions. So this is an example. Here we're using the word could. Then we have number two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is uh, we're going to work with a partner. I'll get you guys back in your groups with your partner. And I want you guys to do those five exercises, right? Because number one has already been done for you. Okay. So let's work on that. Um, okay. Just give me a moment. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there's well, um, there might be some groups I'm going to have to change uh, your partner because it, there has been a change in the in the order that I have you guys so but most of you guys will be back with your same partner okay so I'm going to I, I was going to give you about six minutes I don't think it should take you very much. So we'll give six minutes, okay? So here we go, let's open the groups. And there, this there, and uh, exercise six. Ah, okay. Complete the sentence with the should, could, would have a most plus past participle. If the server hadn't received the proper training, they could have answered the customer question, question, the customer's question. Mm -hmm. 
Number two, the bartender shouldn't take him. That bottle mm -hmm. of wine without permission. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yes. And number three? Uh, the server would be, would be in the trouble if they have been late for the meeting. Would have. Go how come? Go how? Mm -hmm. well, would, ha would have been. Oh, sorry, this is have included. In trouble if they have been late for the meeting. Okay, number four. Let me see. Should. Should have. Asked the manager for a day off. Yes. The cashier shouldn't take him. Mm -hmm. That money from the register. Taking that money from the register. And, take yes, and the uh, number six. Um, I should call it to the lead. Uh -huh, the manager, I was sick. To let the manager, I was sick. Yes. Okay. Okay. Finish. Looks like we made it. <laughs> Are you sure that you, you don't want to check again? Just in case. Hey. Double check. Double check. Double, double check. Okay. And the number two, the bartender shouldn't take in the bottle of wine without permission. Remember, you have to follow the structure that we've seen. Yes. I think the verb is... For day off, the cashier should not took in the past that money from register. I should call in the past, call, no call, to let the manager, I was sick. It's okay for you? Very fast. <laughs> yes, all the verbs in past. You very intelligent. No, I am not intelligent. <laughs> I am a normal person. Yes. And you. Uh, yes. Okay. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, the, the finally. Uh, I don't the remember. The finally it. is I should call. Call is C O L D. C O L D. In, the, in Spanish, in cool. Spanish is cold. Cool. In Spanish, cold. Cool. In English is, give me teacher, C O L D in Spanish. It's okay? C O U L D. C O L D. U L D. Yes. Oh, I don't remember how to say it. Oh, oh. C O U L D. Yes, it's correct. So it's, it's you, you pronounce it could. The yes, Ellen Island. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the past, it's only that the, the grammar mm -hmm. with you use the two for the past. But the, the second verb, I use the EN. Is it correct? Okay. For example, okay. the second sentence, no, the three sentences said the servers wouldn't was in trouble in they have been late for the meeting. Yes? Are you okay? Yes, it's okay. Um, teacher, ah, the teacher is go or is here? No, teacher, no. hello. 
Yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh, I'm here. Oh, here. Is the frozen? Let it go. Let it go. Oh, teacher. Really? <laughs> teacher is correct. Ask. Ask. A, ask. No, it's ask with T. Uh, ask. With T in the end. And the word is A S T E D. Is it correct, teacher? Yeah. But the the sound the D is T. No, with the when when you, when you write is P S K E D. Yeah, but the sound the D is, is T. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Okay, you no. spell it A F K E D. Yes. Yeah. Correct. You pronounce but the uh -huh, the pronoun. Ask, uh huh. I I remember that you the teacher say that the D the sound is similar the T. Ask. I remember that. Sorry, could you repeat that again, Wendy? I remember that you you say um the sound D is the similar T the final. Ask. Yes, if, if it's voiceless, if it's voiceless, remember, remember this, the, the, that when, when you put the, ask, your, your fingers ask. when you throw, you say, ask, ask, ask. there's no vibration, ask. it's voiceless, uh, so ask. that's why you say ask, okay? Ask, mm -hmm. ah, okay, ask, okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys in the main room. Yes. Okay. Um, did we lose some people? Me aparecen menos de los que deberían de ver. I don't know. ¿Alguien se quedó sin pareja o durante el...? No. Okay. Solo, solo esperaron la, la, la pasada de lista. <laughs> oh, my. No, no. En el colegio. Ah, wow. <laughs> solo, solo levantaron la mano y se fueron. Uh -huh. No recibieron la última hora. No, no creo. <risa> uh, qué, mal, qué malas mañas. Bro. No, son ustedes son demasiado, eh, demasiado responsables para eso. Bueno, <risa> en eso tiene razón. <risa> sí, ¿verdad? Él <risa> se lo cree. <risa> Como dice Jack Sparrow, sigue repitiéndolo hasta que te lo creas. <risa> <risa> Está bueno. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bueno. All right, guys. Um, so let's check. Um, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to call out different people's names and you guys can go ahead and give me the answer. So we know the first one is um, could have answered the customer's questions. Number two, we're going to start with number two. And I'm going to get, let's see, I do. Can I wait primero? How about Jury? Jury, help me with number two. Jury? Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> No worries. Alone in the house. 
It happens to me, don't worry. Teacher, <laughs> okay. booty only weighs the least in gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am here, I am here, I am here. <laughs> jury, jury. <laughs> All right, go for it, go for it, Jerry. The bartender shouldn't have taken the bottle of wine without permission. Like that? Like, oh. That bottle of wine without permission. Okay, all right. Um, let me change that color. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so the bartender shouldn't have taken, okay. Got it. All right, let's move on. Number two, um, Josue. Help me with number three, please. Uh, the servers will have been in trouble if they have been late for the meeting. Would have, have been. been. Okay, gotcha. All right. Thank you. Okay, and next we'll have number four. Let's get, um, let me see. Let's get Juan Francisco to help us with number four. Okay. Uh, you should have asked the manager for a day off. Okay. Can you repeat uh, uh, that of uh, the verb? Uh, should ask, ask, uh, should have asked. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you. So like this, right? Okay. Like this, Juan Francisco? Uh, the manager for uh, the guest teacher. Okay, all right, good, thank you. Um, Juan Francisco, do you remember that a few, I think, I, I don't know if it was last module or the one before, we talked about how to pronounce the simple past, or in this case, the past participle of the verbs. And we talked about there are three, there are three sounds. We can have the d, the t, or the id sound. Do you remember that? Yes, yes, it does. Okay, good. Oh, Which do you think this is? Is it d, t, or id? It. Okay. Id is used when the verb finishes in a T or D sound. For example, um, let's say like need, need, d, d, right? It finishes in a D sound. So we would say need, did. Or for example, um, complete. Complete finishes in a T sound. So we say completed. But ask does not finish in a D or T sound. So what is this? What is the sound of ask, of ask in the simple past? Um, ask, ask, mm, ask it. <laughs> okay, it's with a t sound, right? So we say asked. Okay. Asked. Yeah. Okay. 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 Asked. Asked. Yeah. Exactly. Asked. 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 Yeah, and for those those of you that, um, you know what, I think it was like two modules ago because I don't think, um, Jury and Ivan, do you remember that class? About the, the sound, the d, t, and it sound? Not so much. No. No. no, yeah, no, no. I think it was like two modules ago. Exactly, yeah. I was about to mention. Yeah, I think it was two modules ago. Okay, so uh, for the people that were either not in class that day or the people that never 
were not with us in that module. Basically, the class was about the how to pronounce the ed sound at the end of um, of simple past verbs, or in this case, that we're seeing the past participle. And we saw that there there, there are three there are three ways to pronounce the ed. Some of them are with the id sound, and those are the verbs that finish in a t or d sound, like I said, like need, add, um, and uh, verbs like complete, um, connect, right? They finish in a t sound. So whenever you do that, you would have to put like connected, completed, needed, um, wanted, um, added, okay? So we have an extra syllable when it has those two sounds, when it finishes in those two sounds. And then the other two, it all depends on if what we call voiced or voiceless, which means that voiced is when at the end of the verb, the, the verb sound, there's a vibration. When you put your, 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 your fingers to your throat, you hear a vibration. Like for example, um, play, play, right? You you hear when you say play, play. the there's a vibration at the end. Play, right? That sound, that vibration means that we're gonna we're going to pronounce it like a d sound. So it's played. Okay. Um, or for example, um, let me think of another one. Um, mm, let me think, let me think. Uh, can someone help me here? Another one that, uh, oh yeah, 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 hold on. I'm, I've gone blank right now. My my brain is in blank. Okay, let me see. Okay. Uh, or for example, oh, okay. Um, uh, like. Offer, er, offer, er, right? There's a vibration, offer, right? Okay, so there's a vibration. So we say offered, okay? Or for example, enjoy, enjoy. There's a vibration, you say enjoyed. Um, clean, clean, that n, there's a vibration, so it'd be d. But then there are some that don't have any vibration at the end, like in this, in like a, the case, for example, of help, help. There's no vibration, no vibration. So you put the t at the end. So it's helped, dance, dance, no vibration. So we say dance. And in the case of ask, ask, no vibration. So you put ask. Okay, so that's just basically a, a quick summary. Um, if you guys want more information, what I can do is I will look for a video on that and I'll give you guys the link in the in the WhatsApp group. I'll send you guys the link. Sounds good? Okay. Teacher, teacher I, I don't know if I remember in correct way mm -hmm. the pronunciation of the word, but I, I remember that one teacher told me, asked, it is going to be the sound that you are going to say in the word, but I don't remember. And because the in that class, I remember the teacher repeat us a lot, asked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. With ask, ask, there is no vibration. If you just think of the word ask, like A S K, there's no vibration at the end. It's flat, right? So that's why you pronounce it with a T sound at the end. So it should say asked. Asked. Okay. 
Does that, that, does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Okay. So let's continue. Um, let's continue. Oops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's continue with the next one. And we'll have um, Warner help us with number five, Warner. Um, number five, teacher. Um, I told how color to leave the managers I was sit. I should have. I should have color. Uh, number five. Ah, number five. Sorry, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Um, the cashier. Children have taken. Okay, shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't have taken. Okay. The money from the reg register. Okay, thank you. All right, and um, see, and the last one, number six, will have. Um, um, Yvonne, help us with number six, Yvonne. Um, I should have called to let the manager I was sick. Okay, good. To let the manager no, no, yeah. Yeah, That's exactly what I was going to say. There is a word missing there. To let the manager know I was sick. Yeah. So there's, we just have to add the word. No. Okay. All right. Um, okay, right there. Okay, great. So your answers are all correct, okay? So the partner shouldn't have taken, the service would have been, um, you should have asked, the cashier shouldn't have taken, and I should have called. You guys got it. Questions so far? No? No question. Okay, great. All right, guys, so in that case, since that is clear, we're going to move on and we're going to be discussing these questions about employee surveillance program. So first of all, let's discuss these questions as a class. How would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? Now, first of all, do we guys, do we understand in the word inadequate? I think it would be the similar to the one in Spanish, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So inadequate or not appropriate, not apt. Okay. And we understand crisis management plan. Do we understand a crisis? Yeah. Pieces. Uh huh. And management? Un plan para administrar crisis. Administrar. Situaciones complicadas. Okay. Uh, so it's, it would be like a, it, we could translate it as a, Un plan de un. Uh, El manejo de crisis inadecuado. Inadecuado. Um, inadecuado. It would be actually more like un plan inadecuado. Un plan mm -hmm. inadecuado del manejo. Manejo de crisis. crisis. Uh -huh. okay. Exactly. Okay. So, how would you define that? Tell me, what do you understand by that? I think that maybe 
is when the management team mm -hmm. is not taking in consideration uh, emergencies, right. situ emergency situation when they are planning, for example, the staff schedules. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. What else? What else can you tell me? You con when you don't consider all risks that you can have at the at the day. Okay, you don't consider risks, uh huh. Okay. What else? A teacher, for example, the last year when the pandemic comes, mm -hmm. and nobody knows how to handle the quarantine, the and como se dice decretos. The government, the government decree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Sounds good. Uh huh. Very good. Okay. All right. Next question is Could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in uh, mitigating financial loss? What do you guys think about that? But a lack of okay. communication. Do you guys understand the word lack? Pobre. Pobre, uh huh. Pobre, falto. Falta. Yeah, falta. Um, okay, so, so uh, falta de comunicación, right? Lack of communication. Um, so can a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail? So, oops, um, what I mean by fail, like it doesn't work out, right? It's not, it's, it doesn't, um, it doesn't go as planned in a mitigating financial loss. Do we understand I mitigating? Guess they, yes, of course. I guess you just don't have a, do you need to do a business plan? You certainly will have financial losses. Mm, okay. What do you guys think about that? I guess that the, if you fell on the crisis management, maybe your reputation like company gonna lose. So that's why you lose the revenue. Okay. Good. All right. Any other opinions? Okay. All right. Well, in that case, let's start by reading this article. I'm going to actually get three volunteers, no, sorry, four volunteers to help me read this article. Um, so we're going to start with volunteers. Okay, so who, who would like to help me? I can help. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what there, I just realized there are five, I need five volunteers. Okay, so, okay, so Jose? Yes. Uh, you can be the first one, the first okay. paragraph, who else? Who else? Me, if you want. All right, great. Ana Claudia, you can read the second one. It's a very short one from the the research, research the uh -huh. research yeah exactly until um, until the states mm -hmm. okay okay uh number three thank you sir. oh wonderful okay great so andres you will be number three so from employee to business the okay. next one, which one is very, very small. The next paragraph. It's very short. Very short, guys. Or maybe you guys want longer ones, right? Yeah, me too. Sure. <laughs> okay. Ivan, where are you? Okay, great. <laughs> right. so, I'm Luis? here. I give the chance to you. Hey, why don't you take the number five? 
Ay, soy humilde esta noche. Ok. No quiere presumir. <risa> All right. Okay, so Luis, you can do number four, which starts from a simple to elaborate. And the last one, who wants to help us with the last one? Me, teacher. Okay, go for it, Jerry. You'll do the last one. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Yes, okay. So most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and it is used revolves around the question. It is spooky and reassuring, but a different issue is the effect of surveillance on, on behavior. In a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. Okay. The server the, the research. The searches. The I'm going to continue. The researches. Yeah. Uh, uh, up to up to can be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the researchers measured the impact of software that monitors employee levels, thief, no thief, and sales transactions. Before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. Thank you. Next. Uh, employee uh, uh, fraud is a big problem. Estimated at up to $2,000 billion a year across. Oh, the sorry, economy. how much? Two thousand billion. Two thousand or two hundred. Oh, sorry, two hundred billion mm -hmm. a year across the economy. <clears throat> Most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wages, and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high, and that environment. A certain amount of theft has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. Thank you. Next. A simple sample is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customer to take care of me. With a large tip, other ta tactics are more elaborate. Thank you. And the last one. Uh, me teacher um actually i think the jury was going to ah uh, okay teacher. Oh, sorry, sorry sorry yeah it's all right no problem next one next one you you can help us okay all right go for it, okay thank you teacher but monitoring software is not available to track all transactions and detect suspicious pattern after the installation of the monitoring software income per restaurant increased by um, an average of uh, 2,908 to 82 a week. Knowing they were being monitored, 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 I don't know, know what it's monitoring. The server, monitoring. The server not only pulled back on any on uh, unethical practice, but also channeled the effort into say, prompting customer to have that dessert or a second beer. Second beer. Second beer. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, excellent. All right, okay guys, so tell me questions about, let's start with questions about vocabulary. Oh, by the way, thank you guys very much. Round of applause for those of you that read. You guys all deserve one of, let me see, let me see. Oh, where is it, where is it? I can't find it. Sorbillance, you say, is the way how to pronounce that word, sorbillance? Yeah, I'm going to go over um, the pronunciation in a moment, but first okay. I want I want to go over the vocabulary. Okay, so please ask me 
questions about vocabulary. Spocky. Oh, do you want to we write it in the chat? Yeah, you can write it in the chat or you okay. can ask about it, whatever you prefer. Going to grab it. Spocky. Uh -huh. Anything else? Everything's in the first paragraph. <laughs> I guess this first paragraph is kind of not clear. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's what I'm here for, right? Help you guys with the vocabulary. Anything else? Uh, I've lost it. I don't know where it's wages. In the sec in the second paragraph uh, below the two hundred billion. It says pays it servers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. All right. Anything else? Okay. All right. So, oh, just one more. Someone help me find the recording. Ah, uh, yes, recorded. Anything else? Uh, in the last one, someone wrote in the chat channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to find it right now. Is it in the, in the last uh, row? In the, last in the beginning oh, yeah. of the all right. okay anything else okay. all right so we're going to quickly go over the answers for this so surveillance is uh when you it's like uh observing okay on um observing something so like for example surveillance camera a surveillance camera is a camera that is used to observe um for example, in a store, let's say you go to a store, there's a camera there, and the, the purpose of that camera is for to observe what's going on, right? Okay, the surveillance. Revolves, we're talking about going around. So most of the public discussions of surveillance technology and its uses revolves or is about, okay? Or is, uh, okay, so revolves around the question. So it means that it, it everything is around those topics. Like we're talking everything that, um, you know, the discussion is considering everything that has to do with, is it spooky or is it reassuring? That's what they're talking about. And speaking of that, spooky means like uh, creepy. Have you ever heard that word creepy? Mm -hmm. So creepy or something like 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 da miedo, let's say basically, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Um, you scare. Yeah, it makes you scared, or yeah, mm -hmm. it, it makes you kind of like a ooh, you know, like that, that kind of feeling. Reassuring is the opposite. Reassuring is like something that makes you feel calm, like <sighs> like that, right? That that feeling, like oh, everything is fine. That's reassuring. Okay, behavior is the way you act. Okay, 
so it says, um, but a different issue is the fact, the effect of surveillance on behavior, how people act, what people do, that's behavior, el comportamiento, okay? Wages are the amount of money that people make in their jobs. Like, uh, what are the wages? So basically, what could be like salaries or um, what they make every, per hour, like how much they are earning per hour. So that's like in their jobs. So you have low wages are means that the money that they make is very low. And then we have regarded. The regarded means um, it um, to be considered. Okay, so a certain, so it's like saying a certain amount of theft has been regarded or has been considered as a normal part of business. So that it's the way people build, the way people consider things. Okay. Como se considera. Channel, um, to channel is to like, um, um, let me see this. Um, okay, so it says, knowing that the, um, they were being monitored, the servers not only pulled back on any unethical practices, but also channeled their efforts. So in other words, they, um, they put their effort, they, um, they, yeah, like say, it's like saying put, let's say, it's like saying put their effort, they focused their effort on something else. Okay, in that case. So oh, it's no, more no, like no, focused. No, no. Uh -huh. All right. No, no, no. Uh huh, exactly. No, no, no. And I saw that somebody was asking about the word unethical. Unethical is the opposite of ethical, right? Ethical means um, that. You know, there is, it's something that is, um, that is, goes with your morals, okay? That's ethical. So, and then unethical is the opposite, something that goes against your morals, okay? It's very similar to Spanish. Okay, so ethical, right? Sin ética, okay? All right, because of time, guys, we're going to leave it there. I just wanted to make sure that you understood the vocabulary because you may need it later on. Um, and then we'll, tomorrow we'll go over the pronunciation of these words. Sounds good? Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank good. Teacher. All right, okay. guys. So once again, I'm going to do what we always do, take our attendance, make sure that, that um, people are actually here, not just, um, saying here and then leaving. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. All right, so here we go. Um, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Um, Javid? 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 Oh my, okay. <laughs> um, Andres? Present teacher. All right. Um, eh, Dennis? No. Eh, Edgar Menjivar? Present teacher. All right. Um, Edith Jorleni? I guess not. Um, Irvin? Present teacher. All right. Um, eh, um, Fabiola? I guess not, right? Um, Heidi? Present teacher. Okay, Irene? Present teacher. Ivan? Present teacher. Josue? Present teacher. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Luis? Present teacher. Uh, Manuel? No. Natalie? Natalia? Natalia? No? Okay. Wendy? Present. Warner? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. 
Edgar Enriquez. Elizabeth. Eh, Jose Montes. And Jose Ayala. Present, teacher. All right, wonderful. All right, so that will be all for you guys. Um, Luis, um, if you would like to stay for your one-on-one -on -one session, I'm here available, okay? So that's it, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Teacher, I just want to ask you, uh, when are you going to uh, make the platform resume? Great, tomorrow or today? Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. I forgot to mention this. Yes, thank you. Guys, today is the last day for unit, oh my God. <laughs> unit, um, unit three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unit so, three. Okay. That uh -huh. means that I am going to sleep really late. Thank you. Me teacher. too. I'm going to <laughs> make <laughs> it right guys. now. <laughs> unit three, guys. I'll see. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, unit three. I'm going to sleep early. Okay. So, unit three. Uh, you guys already have done everything else. You just have to do unit three. Okay. Okay. So, thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Good, Good, Good night. 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 El examen final es la última actividad de la plataforma. Sí, pero no, no necesitas hacer el examen final ahorita. Pero, pero la tarea 3, sí. No, la tarea 3 es para ahora. Una, Solo el examen final creo que me falta. Ah, excelente. Ok. okay. Voy a dormir temprano y ustedes no. <risa> Presumiendo. <risa> no, no, no tenía la duda, pero valga la presunción. <risa> ok. Hasta sí, luego. Bye. Bye. Nos vemos. Bye. Ok, Luis. ¿Qué tal? No lo escucho. Sorry, I was muted. It's okay. Uh, what can we help you with? Tell me. Um, I I have a little doubt. Okay. I I think I know have enough clear the where we see saw yesterday uh, was far farther farther. Further. And the other one. Uh -huh. and further. Just, just, uh, just today, I have to read a, a, a bit about uh, some things happening in Guatemala, <laughs> and there appears that words. Oh, okay, okay. All right, yeah, sure, no problem. I'm going to share my um, Word document. Okay. Okay. All right, you can see it, right? Yes, right. All right, perfect. Okay, so, um, so Luis, okay, so the the verb, okay, sorry, so the um, adjective far is one of those irregular adjectives because yes. normally if it was a regular adjective, we would say um, far est. Mm -hmm. Right? If it was a regular adjective, that's how it would be because it's one. So actually, no, no, sorry, my mistake. It would be like this because it's one, it's one syllable far and it finishes mm -hmm. in one vowel a and one consonant r. So we double the r and we put a yes. That's how it would be if it was a regular adjective, but it's not. So what happens yes. is that with far, it's it's in it's an irregular, so we have two forms, um, and one form is putting farther, sorry, farthest, farthest. Okay, so using still the est, right, which is, um, which is you know what we normally do, and the only thing mm -hmm. is that we're going to be adding the es, the th. That's going to be the difference. The other one is. Um, the other possibility is using far sorry uh, fur and then the h e s t okay 
So basically the difference is this letter right here. Everything else yes. is the same except this letter. Now, what's the difference? The difference is that um, this one over here is talking about distance. Okay, so when we're talking about distance, um, like, like we think about, we're talking about distance, we're talking about like meters, centimeters, no, meters, yeah. miles, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Okay. Yeah. So we say, if we're going to compare, um, oops, 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 sorry. Uh, let's say we're gonna be comparing, um, um, we're going to compare, I don't know, your house and my house to, I don't know, Metro Centro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do you live? I live in Ilopango. Okay. You live in Ilopango. I live in San Salvador. Yeah. Whose house is? In your case, I am. Yes, I live farthest. Yeah. Your house is the, the farthest. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and if we compare it, if you compare it with um, other people, not just me, you would have to be using farthest, the farthest. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. okay. So that's pretty clear, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, in this, the furthest one really doesn't have a specific thing that we are marking. It's more um, of a just general kind of thing. It's more general. It's, if you will, it will, it's more like a symbolic, right? Or um, not symbolic, what's the other word for symbolic? Um, it's more, um, oh, um, yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's generalized, but um, it's more uh, um, synonymo de, de simbólico. Mm. It's at the tip of my tongue, but right now, yeah. met metaphorically. That's the word I'm looking for, metaphorically, okay? So mm -hmm. it can be generic or metaphoric, okay? So, um, so um, for example, let's say if you were, I, I, yesterday I used the word um, to talk about studying, okay? You can go certain levels in study. Okay, it's like when you say in Spanish, quiero ir bien lejos con mis estudios. Okay, no me quiero conformar mm -hmm. con, no sé, un bachillerato. Quiero ir muy lejos. Voy a hacer un, um, voy, a, voy a hacer una licenciatura, un posgrado, eh, un, una maestría, etc., etc. Okay, so, that, so okay. in that case, we're not talking about distance. Right? We're not talking mm -hmm. about meters, kilometers, miles. No, we're talking about more of a, a metaphoric kind of or a general kind of way. Okay. Also, we can say, for example, um, what is what is the furthest you've gone in a relationship, in a sentimental relationship? Let's say, oh, the furthest I have gone is getting engaged, me comprometido. You've gone far, but not in distance. We're talking more metaphorically mm. speaking. Yeah? Okay. Yes, I get it. Okay? Yeah? Uh, yes, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Or I want to... Um, um, or we can say... Um, the furthest I've ever read... The furthest I've ever read in... Um, I don't know, in the encyclopedia is up to page 2011. 
example. That's the furthest. Obviously, we're not taught. That's more general, right? It's not talking about mm -hmm. distance um, of meters or centimeters. That's just it's we're talking about um, advancing in general speaking. Does that make sense for you? Please? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, I, um, for example, this uh, is a form or a structure is for the superlative. Uh, for comparative, it's the same way. Right. We would just have to make it like this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. And that's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Perfect. Now I understand better. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. So just think of it. If let let's if if you to make it easier, if you're talking about centimeters, meters, uh, kilometers, miles, we're going to be using this one, far or farthest. And for everything else, use this one, further or furthest. Yo, yo creo que eso sería okay. más sabio. Just think about if you're talking about a specific distance, then use far. Everything else, just use furthest. Okay. okay. Yes, right. perfect. Great. Any other questions? And no, teacher. No. For all things, it's okay. Okay. Wonderful. All right. In okay, that case, thank you. Luis, uh, take care. I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget to finish the platform. Oh, yes, okay. I finish it. Unit three. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye.